freshman forward Sandra Knowles. Coach, you would mind just opening up with a couple of uh, uh, an opening statement and a few questions. I'm really proud of uh, our guys. We beat an outstanding basketball team. I, I know they ranked anywhere from 15 to 17, but uh, they're uh, their top 10 team, and I'm so proud of our, our team. Uh, we have great respect uh, for their program, uh, for their players. Uh, Coach Ali, he's done a tremendous job. I think it's very difficult to take over uh, for a legend like uh, Coach Calhoun and what he's done. He's done a remarkable job. Uh, and he's got two great, great guards, uh, and uh, Bo Wright and Napier, and I, I thought they were sensational tonight. But having said that, we've got good players, and uh, our guys played hard, they played as a team, they competed, we didn't play great for a full 40 minutes. I thought the first half was probably as well as we played in a long time offensively, and defensively, I thought Coach Brooks did a masterful job uh, with the uh, scouting report, the guys followed it, and we talked the entire portion of halftime about that's the most insignificant stat there is, is the halftime score. And we didn't quite play it, but we knew they'd make a run. We didn't want them to make a run and go ahead and take, get ahead of three. But then down the stretch, uh, we had a lot of guys make big plays, none bigger than these uh, uh, three guys right here uh, down the stretch. But it took a total team effort. I'm really proud of our guys. We beat an outstanding team. I uh, was pleased uh, with the fan support uh, that we had and uh, happy that we're 1-0 in the league. Question. Question. I'm really proud of these guys. Stig, talk about the three-point shot to tie the game. Had a hand mm -hmm. in your face. Talk about that. Uh, I knew I knew Tayshawn was going to drive past it. I could keep it out. Nah, I knew I was going to shoot it, but I didn't know I was going to have double cut. He gave him a moment a little bit. So it was a, it was a big moment. You know, there, there was a field, but I knew we had to play deep, feel back on defense. Did you think it was going in when you, when you took it? I always think it was going in. <laughs> I was just going to say that you know, he has great confidence. He has the ability to hit big shots. He's hit them before. And you know, we ran some special situations in practice yesterday. Uh, Coach Hamilton drew up a play for him. He had a game winner uh, at the end of practice uh, off a double screen. And the one thing I want to say about uh, him is he, he does believe every every shot's going in. And he's never met many shots that he didn't like. But one of the things he has done, he has really improved his shot selection. He knows now, and he's got a lot of freedom. We want him to shoot the basketball. And he has really matured in terms of, in two areas. One, in terms of knowing what's a good shot and what's a bad shot. And the second thing is going harder on the drive. And you know, he, he got the free throw line six times tonight. He's a good free throw shooter. He was three for three in the Rice game. And so uh, I'm really proud, not only did he hit the shot, which we know he can do. And, and, and the other thing I will say is that he was on everybody in the huddle about playing defense in that second half. So I'm, I'm, I'm proud of his maturity uh, as, a, uh, as a basketball player. And, and uh, you know, you want him, you want him in your huddle, you want him in your foxhole because uh, he's, a, he's a competitor in the Warriors. Tayshaun, okay, so talk about um, making the free throws to give out a lead. Uh, that was the biggest free throw of my life because, one, I couldn't see on my right eye. I got hit in the like, two plays before. And uh, I knew that if I made them, it was going to like, put us in a good place for the end of the game. And uh, Jay, they called that timeout right before I got to the free throw line. It helped me out a lot because then we could recover or whatever. And Jay Rod just kept telling me, he was like, man, you better get it right. Make the last two free throws. So I just calm, I just calm down, and I've been shooting free throws every day after practice for since uh, like the Lafayette game. So that, that helped out a lot. We actually play uh, situations in those free throws, and we'll say we're playing against uh, a certain team. We just happened to do this the other day. He said, "Tayshawn, we're playing UConn. Uh, game's tied. And we've got to hit both free throws." And so <coughs> he reminded me of that in the locker room. And I will say this: uh, when he did have his eye. J. Bob was on those manager about get him a towel, get him a towel. He was talking about getting him a towel over there. So there's a lot of team camaraderie tonight, and uh, it, it, this was Coach Brooks wrote this on the board after the game. You know, it, it was about a team and about toughness, uh, and those guys did a really good job. And we had a we had a freshman over here that uh, really grew up a lot tonight, and uh, I, I was proud for him. He's been hard on himself. He is he has really been too hard on himself, 
Uh, he got nine rebounds in the Rice game, didn't score, so he's really been tough on himself. Uh, probably not as tough on himself as we've been on him in practice. Uh, Coach Brooks and I have been on him pretty hard. But boy, he really responded tonight, made some big plays for us. And I thought played with great confidence. He wanted the ball. Uh, Tayshawn, J. Rod, uh, Jerron, Brandon, Tion were all looking for him down there. He didn't feel like they could hold him. He could get to the middle. I uh, wish he got to the free throw line, but he uh, just one rebound away from having a double double. But uh, Dan Red really grew up tonight. Coach was real intense out there tonight. Did you do anything different to prepare for this, or did you pull over? No, you know, we, we, we really didn't. Uh, uh, the guys, I mean, everyone knows that when conference season starts, the intensity level rises. Uh, I mean, if you can't get excited about playing for the University of Houston, which is a great university, tradition rich program, you're playing a program like Connecticut, who we have great respect for, the national titles, you're on national TV. It's the first conference game. Uh, this is what you come to college for. So our guys were ready. We just, what we've got to do is we've got to sustain that uh, a little bit better in the second half. I was concerned about coming out and being a little bit flat, which we have done in the second half. They're, they're going to make a run. We know that. But uh, we, uh, we let up a little bit eventually, and they had more energy. We talked about that energy. At, at, uh, at halftime, they cannot have more energy than we do. They just cannot. Well, they went through a period where they did, and then, you know, Napier got hot. I mean, I mean, I let me just say this. Let me rephrase it. He got open. He got loose. He doesn't have to get hot. He's good. He, he's got a pure stroke. He can really shoot the ball. But he got loose too much. We let him lose too much. Were you concerned with having 10 days off? No, no, not at all. Not at all. Now, we we talked about, we talked about this last summer when we were. When the, before the conference schedule came out, we thought the league could start anywhere from the 28th to the 31st. And so we had an option to play a game on the 27th. I opted not to because I think it's important for guys to have an opportunity to be off at Christmas time and, and, and be with their families and have a few days off. Had we, had, had we played on the 27th, a non-conference game, we'd have to bring them back on Christmas night. And I did that for 10 straight years, and I promised my wife if I ever got another job, I'd never bring it back on Christmas night. And so I didn't, we played all 13 non-conference games before the break, and uh, I knew that first conference game, I just wanted the, the five days to prepare when we came back. We came back the night of the 26th, I just wanted those days to prepare. So really having that time off, uh, once I found out when the conference schedule was going to be, I didn't want to put the guys in position that we had to prepare for a game on the 27th. Coach, you get a big win over one of the more premier teams in the conference. What does this do for your team's confidence moving forward as you <laughs> Well, we got to build them. And what, what I told the guys tonight, we're going to do is I, they deserve the opportunity to enjoy this. And we're going to enjoy this for 24 hours. And then once we come back to work, we got to put that behind us. We'll look at the film. We'll build on the good things that we did. We'll correct our mistakes. And then we got to get ready for South Florida. And because, as I was telling them out there, you know, they were excited. They should be. And I know they thought I was being a little bit tied on at the end of the game, but as I told them, it's never over if that horn goes off. So I want to make sure we knew exactly what we could need to do till the end of the game. I want them to enjoy this, but it's one game. We've got to get ready and move the next. But I do think that what it shows is that when you play together, when you play as a team, uh, a lot of good things can happen. And we've got good players. I, I, I've said all along, I really love these guys. I, I, I love the... Uh, uh, ability they have. I love what kind of people they have. They're close to one another. Uh, they're always playing pranks on one another and uh, you know, getting the guy's phones, hiding somebody's shoes. They're always doing something. I aggravates the heck out of me, but uh, they're always doing that. And uh, so uh, they're close. They know what we've accomplished if we, if we, if we play like we're capable of playing. And that's what we're going to have to do. So we got an answer, long answer. Build on it. we got to build on it. Chicken, give me your thoughts on the points you got down the stretch there, and how you feel about this win? Feel great about the win. Uh, all the points were from our teammates. Looking for me, one being tight, just, just playing. The three point shots you hit? Uh, they were playing so it was double team and tight, so I took it. I made it. Do you feel good that was going there? You took it? Pretty much. What, that three? Yes. Oh, I thought that three, uh, I mean, he hit that shot, and I thought it looked good when he left his hand. I, in fact, I was glad he was taking because I was afraid he was going to try to force it. What they were doing, they were backing off of him, playing halfway between, because they knew we were going to try to jam it into 
to then rather or to take, and the dude backed off of him. He stepped up there and knocked it down. Myself. <laughs> Anything else for Coach the players? Let me just take this opportunity to uh, wish all of you a very safe uh, and happy new year and to all the great fans out there. Happy new year. Happy new year. Thank you.